everyone, welcome back to my channel. Super excited for this video today because one, I haven't done an updated pamper full head to body slash nighttime skincare routine in a long time. I think the last video that I did like this was at the beginning of the year. And since then, my skin has changed a lot. My skincare routine has changed. Number two is because my favorite acne treatment brand has sponsored this video for me. And I feel so incredibly grateful because you guys know how much I've been talking about this brand, Curology, here on my channel for years now. And I've done actually multiple um, videos talking about me being a customer for the past three years and how it has literally changed my skin and controlled my bacterial acne for so long. If you guys don't know what Curology is, it is the only acne treatment that I've used for the past three years. Literally recommended it to so many people in my life who have gotten such a great response from it as well. Curology is a subscription-based acne treatment that is customized to your specific skin needs. There's no other acne treatment that does this that I'm aware of. Um, and you have your own personal dermatology provider that you can message. You basically just send them a couple photos of your skin before you start your journey with them. And they look at your skin, they talk to you about your skin, and then they recommend a formula literally catered to your skin. Um, that's what I love about Curology is that you can't get this service anywhere else and you can only be prescribed some of the ingredients from a dermatology provider. My personal formula is with clindamycin 1%, um, azelaic acid 8%, and then zinc perthione 0.25%, and that has worked for me for the past three years now. And with this partnership, I do have a custom link for you guys to sign up and get one whole month free. All you have to do is cover the $4.95 shipping and handling fee, but you get a full month free of Curology, which is super exciting, and I cannot wait for you guys to try it out. And with that said, before we get into the video, make sure you do like it if you enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel because it means the absolute world to me. And with that said, let's get into my full-on pamper routine. Alexa, I was not talking to you. Sorry, I thought I heard my name. So since you guys already know I use Curology, I'll get into when I will actually use it in my routine. The first products that I will be doing are my cleansing balm and cleanser. And I always, always double cleanse when I use SPF. Um, there are days during the winter when I don't use SPF because I sleep in throughout the day since I am a night shift nurse. So I basically never see the sun in the winter in Seattle. <laughs> And the two cleansers that I have been really enjoying for the past month or so is the Holy Frog. Is it Holy Frog or Holly Frog? Kissimmee Vitamin F Therapy Balmy Wash and the Tashmu Water Lily Nourishing Milky Wash. I'm almost pretty much done with the cleansing balm. Holy Frog is a newer company that um, specializes in cleansers specifically. And they have a cleanser for all skin types, different skin concerns, different skin needs. So right now I'm going to go in with the... Um, balmy wash and I believe this is their only um, cleansing balm in their range um, if I'm not mistaken it's like a luxurious balm it feels so amazing it warms up on the skin and then I'm gonna take some water and then I'll be right back to show you guys the cleanser okay and then while my face is still wet I'm gonna go in with the Tashmu Milky Wash and I do about five pumps of this because the more that you use with this the more luxurious and the more clean it feels your skin feels works so effectively and after I wash this off the film from the balm is completely erased away and my skin is left feeling super clean. All right, my skin is feeling extremely soft. I am so obsessed and I don't think I mentioned this but it is today is my like pamper night day so I'm going to do a full head to toe pamper. I'm going to do my micro needling. Um, I'm going to mask tonight but my mask number one is a cleansing mask slash purifying mask. And I always do this on pamper nights um, right before I do an exfoliating mask and the one I've been using for the past two months, the Biologique Recherche Mask Vivant. And I picked this up while I was in Paris, but this has been my favorite whenever I do have new acne coming in, whenever I feel an acne spot coming in. Um, this just calms my skin, calms my hormonal acne so well. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this on Instagram a couple times, but this has kept my acne at bay throughout the entire month of October. Like when I was traveling, I did not break out once. The only time that I felt bumps come up was when I forgot to do the rest of my skincare routine. One night when I was in um, Italy, I cleansed my face and just went straight to bed, but I didn't do the rest of my skincare. But I basically used this almost every night while I was in Europe. This caused an arm and a leg. So I'm gonna show this to you guys um, here on YouTube for the first time. So I'm gonna spread this really thinly all across my face and then leave it on for 20 minutes. And 
then that is all that I use um, with this mask. You can take it down to your neck if you'd like. They actually suggest that you take it down from um, your face down to your neck and decollete, but I don't want to waste this, so I only use it on my face where I break out. So I'm going to wait 20 minutes, probably a little bit more because I'm going to try and read a little bit, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. It's currently midnight. All right, you guys, so the mask is completely washed off, and my skin is baby butt smooth. So next I'm gonna go in with a exfoliating mask and this is the mask that I always use right before I do my microneedling every single week. This is the Banish Pumpkin Enzyme Mask and this comes in their kit with the microneedle. I am almost done with this entire jar. I use quite a lot at a time so I tend to just go overboard because I love the exfoliating properties of this. It's super strong and I probably don't even need to use as much as I do but I do anyway. Hold on, microphone. So I'm going to take this with a little brush and then spread this all over my face. Okay, then I leave this on for a maximum of 10 to 15 minutes or so. Sometimes I do longer um, depending on what I feel like, but my skin is pretty clear at the moment. I just have a lot of scarring and pigmentation. So I'm just going to do this for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm going to go into the shower um, and I'll show you guys what I use in the shower today because I am going to pamper myself from head to toe. Um, I won't take you guys in the shower though, but I will show you guys what I will be using. <laughs> So while my mask is drying and doing its thing, I'm going to talk about the products that I'm going to be using from my head to toe in the shower and right when I get out of the shower. A lot of these products are new to me, relatively new to me, um, but I have been using at least for the past month or so. I'm going to use my Briogeo Scalp Revival. This is a micro exfoliating shampoo with charcoal and peppermint oil, which is perfect for people who like to use dry shampoo, who need a little scalp stimulation like me because I tend to lose a lot of hair. I probably wash it twice to three times a week, sometimes even less than that. So I do like to use a very deep cleansing shampoo and this is one that I've already um, almost emptied. And I have a backup thanks to Briogeo for sending me this product because I absolutely am in love. It smells amazing. Um, I love the entire line of Scalp Revival. I do use the conditioner as well as the um, the oil that you put in your scalp afterwards. And then for my hair mask, um, which sometimes I just like to use as a conditioner, um, but tonight I'm gonna douse my hair in the Amika Nourishing Mask. And this is their Soul Food Nourishing Mask. Um, and this is my last tub of it, but um, Amika Soul Food is just my number one for super silky soft hair. And then I'm going to use the Way scalp and body scrub with CBD um, on my body tonight um, and I am experiencing a lot of soreness in my muscles from working out the other day so I'm excited to use this um, I do use a couple different ones but this one has always been my favorite this year and then after I get out of the shower I do a full pamper routine as well on my legs I have been using the weightless body treatment 2% BHA by polish choice and I've been using this on my legs specifically when I get out of the shower because I've I have a lot of chicken skin on my legs. I'll just get like these red spots under the skin where they don't hurt at all, they don't itch, they're just like red spots. So I'm trying to use this consistently after the shower so that um, my skin clears up in that area. And so far so good. It's definitely smoothing out the texture. I'm really loving it so far. I also forgot to mention that I will be using this on my legs while inside the shower. This is the Derma Doctor KP Duty um, Physical and Chemical Exfoliation Body Scrub. It's like a creamy whipped texture, um, but it has chemical exfoliants and physical um, scrub components. So I'm gonna use this as well as the BHA treatment, body treatment by Polish Choice. And I'm still not done, you guys. I'm still, I still have my feet and the rest of my body to do. So after that, I'm gonna go in with the Whey Body Cream. And this is what I'm gonna use all over my arms, um, on the rest of my body, on my torso. And a little goes a long way. This smells amazing. And they just came out with this recently. Ugh. Super nourishing and feels lightweight and absorbs really well. Then lastly, on my feet, after I get out of the shower, I'm gonna use the Ahava Detsi Water Mineral Foot Cream. And I've been really enjoying this actually um, on pamper nights because my, my skin on my feet and my hands are no joke the Sahara Desert. It's so dry and scaly and no matter what I do, even if I put oils on my, my feet. So I love products like this that are specifically designed to be deeply nourishing for that area of your body. It's been about 15 minutes since I last saw you. I did a shower, a full head to toe routine, and I did, as you can see, my microneedling for the week. So my face is a little bit red from that, um, but I do microneedle my face because I have a lot of deep scarring. Um, and I'm testing out the new Banish Banisher that they came out with. You guys know that I have a 
lot of like hyperpigmentation, but scarring is actually grooves in my skin that create like texture issues. It's from acne, mostly just hormonal acne, which sucks so much that I have to deal with this. But um, I'm gonna take my hair down out of my turban because all of the moisture has basically been absorbed. And I'm gonna show you guys, oh, by the way, I cut my hair. And I'm gonna show you guys what I do post shower. Um, I tend to use Briogeo. <laughs> you guys, I'm so obsessed with their products and I've been using the Feral Frizz line before I even cut my hair because I used to have really long hair, very frizzy hair. So I always like to use something that controls my frizz. Um, but I've used the Feral Frizz line for years. This is their Rosarco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. So I will do um, the oil first and then the spray. And this is their Rose Tip Argan and Coconut Oil Blend. And I just do one full pump and distribute it throughout the ends of my hair. And then I quickly spray my hair with the um, leave-in. And again, not too much product because otherwise my short hair will look greasy, but just at the ends. They also sent me over their scalp revival um, charcoal tea tree scalp treatment, which you're supposed to use after the shower. So I just put um, a couple of drops throughout the entire scalp and then massage that in. And I have alopecia. I have alopecia areata, so I lose a lot of hair, and it's been a problem of mine for the past year. Um, I was diagnosed last year with alopecia, so it's something that I'm really insecure about. Um, I do have to maintain the health of my scalp because of that. Now for the finale and the most exciting part of the video is my skincare routine. And on Pamper Nights, I tend to do a lot more skincare than normal just because obviously my skin needs a little more TLC after I microneedle my face. So in this case, um, I will use a little extra products. And I like to go in straight in with the Then I Met You Giving Essence. And this is a essence that is loaded with um, antioxidants and brightening ingredients. Um, I tend to go for a lot of brightening, hydrating ingredients um, on Pamper Nights. Then I will wait a few minutes for that to absorb before I go in with my acne treatments. And then, so since I did microneedle, I always go in with retinol. And I like to use retinol only on days when I microneedle because it's when my skin is the most um, vulnerable and needs the most repair and retinol helps to do that really quickly. So after my hydrating toner, I go in with the retinol once my face is completely dry. My skin is so raw right now. <laughs> so I like to let that absorb for several minutes as well because um, retinol is an ingredient that I like for it to fully absorb and let it do its thing on my skin before I go on to the next product. So I'll let this absorb for maybe about 10 minutes. I'm gonna do some more reading while I wait. And it is now 1.35, so I'll be back in about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes. This whole pamper routine usually takes me about two to three hours. It's been about 30 minutes after I applied the retinol and then I'm gonna go in with Curology. So once the retinol absorbs, I do my Curology and I focus it only in areas where I get acne. Then I'll wait a few minutes after that and then I'll go in with my eye cream. And right now I'm mainly using the Bosha Peptide Trio Eye Cream, which I'm in love with. You guys know if you guys watched my Skintober series, which I will link right up here or here. In that series, I basically talk about all of my favorites from the year so far, and this eye cream was one of them. Then I immediately go in with Great Barrier Relief by Crave Beauty. I like to do this the day of microneedling as well as the day the morning after, just so I get the full benefits of it while my skin is um, damaged from microneedling. Then I use two full pumps and just pat that mainly on my cheeks. And my last two products are the Biologique Recherche Creme Dermo Purifiante. <laughs> this is a nighttime acne prone skin um, purifier moisturizer, and it works from the inside out to purify your skin of um, bacteria and um, sebum. And then I will seal everything in with the, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's called SJO Skin. I really don't know how to pronounce this. Um, is it Joe Skin? So Skin? And this is their Happy Honey Oil. It's a multi-purpose facial oil for all skin types. Has a lot of brightening ingredients, a lot of um, moisturizing, calming ingredients, so I love using this duo. Wait a few minutes and then I'll do my last step, which is the oil. So bright and so glowy, you guys. I feel 
amazing. And that completes this entire pamper night routine, get on ready with me slash updated nighttime skin skincare routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can find me at Shannon Bruno on Instagram. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!